we are back with the go kart with that gixer motor, right, Tony? Oh yeah. But welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. But today you can already see that this motor's kind of too big for this frame. So what do we have to do to make this work? Yeah. So originally, can you speak up and look at the camera, sir? No, sir. Originally, we were gonna mount it on the on the side. Um, Put it on the side there, but, but for weight distribution, and we want to track this thing um, and drag it, yeah. and just weight distribution. Distrib yeah, I can't talk. But putting the weight where it needs to go it needs to be behind the driver. That way, we have weight over the rear tires. So we have to elongate the frame a little bit to accommodate for this. I'm just going to be showing you guys how we do it, how we're going to reinforce the frame a little bit, also to make it where yeah give you guys some pointers because a lot of people want to do this um i see it on a bunch of forms they extend it and they weld in pipe and they they do a really shoddy job on welding they don't do any sort of plugs um any like slip joints or anything like that to kind of really strengthen what they're doing because you guys got to think there's no suspension on this car any bump you don't want your you know at home welds to snap while you're cruising around on it with a 100 pound motor behind you especially if you're going <laughs> Hundred yeah. plus, so we're gonna have to reinforce this frame a little bit. Show you guys how it is. All right, so Tony's working on getting the radiator off right now, but relatively, this is where the motor is gonna sit. So now we're gonna have to start cutting this, moving this back to where it is, and then taking measurements on how much extra pipe we need to extend the frame by. Ooh, that was really cool. Not really. Oh well. <laughs> but then take measurements on how much we need to extend this frame. And then after we get to that point, start welding. This are like kid seats brackets kind of. So we're going to have to make them a little bit more adult friendly, aren't we, Tony? Well, this is an adult car. But some people are just, you know, naturally big. Yeah. They call me Big Bone. But we're going to go and... Get started on this, really. So stay watching. Yeah. How'd that feel? Dude, I hate this, but I'm also the best at grinding, so. <laughs> Pretty clean cut. Hey man, you know Grinder Master here? I mean that with the tool. Yeah, not Grind the Master. He used that Grind Master app too, if anyone wants to hit him up. As you've seen it we just uh, hacked up a uh, I think I, I think I've been seeing these these uh, chassis go for around a thousand dollars on eBay so we just hacked up a pretty expensive chassis so hopefully hey. this is worth it you think, it's, you think it's worth it oh, I mean, never go fast yeah, 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 yeah so now we just need to put these where we want them so you're saying like right there no that's too far like right there oh, I forgot that that carrier bearings got to be here yeah so where you have it looks pretty decent actually um, that chains gonna be half it's gonna be really short yeah I was already saying that but you know we'll have to do a pretty hefty sprocket we'll probably just use an OEM so, Dixer sprocket to be honest if that's so you're saying right there yeah and then we'll, we'll leave it extended because we're gonna do a freaking big wing on this thing too guys we're gonna do some crazy aerodynamic um, work to it get a big old front front scoop might post some, pop some pictures somewhere around here. All right, we're so where's the about. tape measure? Right there, right there. Oh, you know, I'm kind of blind. So that's 
<laughs> 14 and a half. Tony spilled a little bit of coolant, let's not mind that, but this is definitely changing the extension of this. We're gonna have to make sure all that's level too. But roughly, this is gonna be a long extension. So you won't put that while I make Yeah. It. 20 inch. 20 inch? Yeah. Do we have enough? Uh, pipe for that? Oh, uh, we have two 36s and one 30. Don't mind our tools. Uh, we've kind of been, you know, busting out on the trailblazer, so this is just our, you know, go to pile, guys. Uh, yeah, <laughs> desperate times call for. It's organized to us, but yeah, we got two 36 inch pipes and then one 30, so that's still leave us with two 16s and a 10 for a reinforcement. Yeah. And then we, we still. We need, yeah. Know. So. Dude, this is going to be a long car. Yeah, it's going to be very long. But we're about to get out of it. Tony's going to look something up real quick. But then we'll be back to you guys in a second when we start putting... What were they called again? Button... Uh, the, the adapters that go in between the spaces and... Oh, uh, just, you know, a, a slip coupler, uh, a plug or something. Whatever you guys like to call it. Yeah, but we'll be back when we start doing that. All right, so Tony's got his welder outfit on, but we got these bars. They're pushed down over a bit, so there's gonna be a little bit of support in them. Like all these bars, like they're different lengths up top, but we're just gonna get them in, and then we'll cut those after with a grinder. And don't worry about all this, we'll pretty it up. And it's all leveled, it's all squared. Yeah, we took the level, made sure it was all leveled and squared. Like, ooh, one bar, two bar. Tony's ready to get to welding, so he's gonna weld these up. Uh, so let's go. Get comfy. You know, hold this still. All Bro, dude, Tony learned how to weld. Holy shit. Tony learned how to weld that. All right, let's keep going. Hit or patter. Yeah, Freaking just... LS engines in the way. <laughs> half bad dude you might learn how to weld just yet is that connected no it's not so yeah. what oh no, no, no i'll bridge it okay so but hey that's not going half badly so far Dude, you really did learn how to weld. I am. Dude, YouTube, man. Dude, I am so proud of Tony right now. Side note, don't come out here to record Tony wearing Crocs and shorts because <laughs> slag's definitely gonna burn you. But hey, it's going. Is it out? Yeah, so we're out of feed wire, so we gotta go get some real quick. And I was on a roll. Yeah. 
So we gotta go get some real quick and then we'll be back to this. All right, we're back to welding. Tony's gonna get his coat on real quick. Put more wire through there. Just gonna move on to the second one, then we'll come back through. I'll get a better close up of this weld over here. Tony learned how to weld a little bit, so. Yeah, not too shabby. We gotta just fill those gaps that are right there. He's gotta go over a little bit of them. But yeah, he doesn't have that much spackle. I mean, you want me to show him your old welds? No, it's okay. Yeah, but he's about to get back to it real quick. So Tony's got those done. Need to cut these off because you can tell that they're not even. So cut those off, get those evened up, and then it's on to, yeah, this motor's leaked quite a bit. Going and putting these onto this. Oh yeah, that's a lot of coolant. But putting these onto this. Boop. Tony's doing stuff while I was trying to do stuff. Tons of fun. You gotta love a small project. But we're gonna clean, not clean these welds up, but go and brush them off. Actually, let's see how they look after Tony's brushed them off a little bit. Not the worst. I almost was stacking some dimes, you know? That one's looking pretty all right there too. Definitely tell the heat transfer. Well, we're about to get these finished all the well wait tony's gonna brush the rest of these off and then i'm gonna cut these to make them evil e <laughs> not evil equal evil. and then we're gonna put those other brackets on and see if we can mount up the way that we are going to mount this motor so stick with us all right guys we're back here uh chance is no longer with us just kidding he's picking up some more goodies some surprises for the cart um, hope you guys are going to be as stoked as I am because we found a killer deal on something that's just going to really tie this tie this together. Um, but little update, been busting out some work while waiting on him to get back. Um, we got one uh, support put in here. Um, my uh, notching capabilities weren't that awesome. My uh, hole saw that I usually use for uh, notching totally... Um, destroyed itself so I kind of had to go at it with a grinder I ended up having big gaps um, so the welds kind of got a little messy um, but we'll go back over and let those cool down we'll add some more we got these other supports put on this one they look really nice they fit in there very well they're not welded up or anything um, ooh, this one's still still spicy spicy from the grinder which by the way uh, if anyone um, wants to send us a grinder this one finally uh, decided to leave for its grave slowly started going out on me and now we have nothing um, but we'll get a new grinder which we're gonna need to finish this up really um, but yeah it's just uh, my little update while I'm waiting for him hey what's up guys we are back here in the garage as always um, little update kind of Cold quits a little early last night, if you would say. But cart is extended. We got some uh, some supports put in here. I still got to weld them up. Um, grinder died. Oh well, we can get another one. You know, our Harbor Freight specialties seem to last us quite a while. This grinder's been through it all. 
Um, but yeah, we got that extended. Um, chances that on the road right now, I'm getting some work done. Um, but yeah, here's the seat he picked up. It is a Kirky aluminum seat. The dude was pretty cool. Um, we actually got it for a killer deal as this whole project. Um, I mean, we've been just getting killer deals on it all. The seat was $40. Um, came with a, what do you, what chance say? NHRA expired um, harness, but it's still a harness, guys. Still uh, will implement some safety. Um, but yeah, other than that, we're gonna get this finished up. Get these finished up and get them welded. Get these seat supports uh, or mounting supports cut out. Um, we're gonna get some new ones put in. Get the seat kind of sat in place. Get the motor put behind it. See what kind of uh, spacings we're working with. Um, and we'll go from there, guys. Stay tuned, stay watching, and subscribe. And All right, what is up, everybody? Um, garage is a mess between these two projects, this beautiful 280Z. You know, we gotta, got some credits coming to get this thing tuned and get a base tuning started, but we'll come to that in another video. Um, then we got this thing laid out. We got a Kirky seat over here. We got this uh, Gixxer 600 and this frame that's extended. So um, we're gonna come down here and what we've gotta do is we've uh, gotta shave, shave up these um, so they can fit snugly in here. Get some engagement, some slip action going on. We'll uh, hollow out the inside of this pipe a little bit with the carbide bits. Um, that way, you know, these can slide right into those. Get some welds spun up around them. And uh, yeah, do the same thing with this one. And then that, that should be good. We'll add some more supports through the frame, of course, just so it can uh, support this motor. It's a uh, powerful um, horsepower and torque ratings it'll put down. And then I support our weight. Get some seat seat mounts fabricated. Um, yeah, let's get to it, guys. All right, guys. Like I said, our grinder completely um, quit. We have yet to go run and go grab another one. So we are actually going to be using carbide bit. As you guys have seen, we've did a lot of uh, port and polishing with it. It um, it should work. It might be a little. Um, time consuming but we'll get it done guys stay uh stay tuned all right guys i see as you guys seen there um yeah gigantic pain in the butt i think all that really did was got rid of the powder coat that was on the frame um so we'll definitely have to uh get a grinder today um but yeah let's uh, come over here and we're gonna bring this because i do have to use the carbide bit on these we're gonna we're gonna hollow those out a little bit more and yes this uh you know, GSXR uh, 600 engine makes a great stand for the cart. But yeah, we're gonna hollow those out. We'll come over to this one, get it hollowed out some more, and then hopefully those uh, those end uh, carrier bearing for the axle um, portions will just slip right in. We can get them mold them up. Stay uh, stay watching, guys. All right, so Tony got these end links on. I had to go to work. You know, no big deal. Nothing happened at all. But Tony. <laughs> <laughs> but Tony yeah. got this done there so really all these level and true level and true blah 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 we used our trusty level that we have but now it's gotta just gotta go back through and put a couple of these yeah just start bracing that get a bar that runs across here get another cross that comes back here I'm um, gonna have to cut these out try to get that nice kirky seat mounted up yeah this is all a mess this is so messy right now but we're working in a really confined area trying to show you guys that you can do stuff at home in your garage too look at tony's welds look at them but don't look too close at them but uh other than that we're just gonna put some more bracing in and get that back to you on that try to get the seat mounted after the seats mounted and the rest of the bracing is in we can start mocking up brackets to put that motor in and then once that motor is in yeah i can still hear maybe once we get that bracket in all this stuff will be roughly assembled and it's just wheels tires and the spindles and steering and getting it wired up and good to go so we'll be back in a sec 
Tony's over here welding the new, well, they're the old seat brackets. We just relocated them to fit that Kirky in there. That way adults can ride in this thing, you know, and be comfortable. Oh, my bad. And have some back support, head support. Um, we're planning on putting a hoop around that too, just so we don't die, you know, because dying's bad apparently. But Tony's about to lay some more welds, so I'm about to cover my eyes and give you guys some shots. Oh yeah, mint. It's mint, boy. this up real quick and honestly this frame should be done today shouldn't it Tony yeah should be good and by done today we'll have the seat mounted up the motor mounted up the motors not gonna be wired up or anything because there's still a little mystery that we have to solve with that but other than that this is coming along like really quickly just like we wanted to because we wanted to get some epic Cool content of us doing some cool stuff in this go-kart out to you guys. But we also wanted to show you guys how to build your own, like what we're doing to make it as safe as possible, et cetera, et cetera. So we'll be back in a sec to show you everything else. All right, so we made some progress without you guys. Got those gussets in. Don't know if you saw that or not, but the big ticket item, the Kirky. This is freaking Kirky! It's made out of bald freaking eagles, if you guys can't tell. And sorry for the mess, but it's kind of Dude, we've been, we've been busting it out. Like, this thing has came together in a matter of, like, two days. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of <laughs> got it, and it was sitting in here for one day before we started cutting it up and extending it, because we got the motor literally the day after. Yeah. So, we've been cranking this out frames completely extended we're gonna add some more supports but, in, yeah. but before we do that we're gonna try and get this uh the suzuki motor in place kind of see relatively what we're looking at with the kirky installed we relocated the uh, seat brackets over yeah um, so the seat brackets relocated back because originally it was for like a 12 and a half inch seat yeah this which is 16 if it's i'm a big boy if y'all have seen me tony's an adult maybe We'll see someday. But this 16 inch Kirky definitely fits in here nicely. We need to put that motor. Tony just said it, but I'm repeating him because that's what we do. Heck yeah, it is. But we're going to put this right here. See where we're doing it. Right now, we were playing with some things and we're thinking we might have to do something. Uh, it's not sketchy, but something different with the. Uh, chain and everything just to make yeah. sure i think it'll be i think it'll be a lot uh it'll transfer power a lot better if we do it the way that we're thinking almost Wait. like a transfer type sprocket setup where it transfers it'll transfer it from the i like how sprocket. you walk away and talk quiet right, got this. basically what we're, we're, we're kind of coming up with is that little sprocket we'll have it uh it's gonna be right here relatively it's gonna be really close but so if we angle... transfer it to one that's kind of mounted up here another small sprocket and then them come down to the big one just to kind of transfer um, what's going on and kind of make it. And everything should rotate in the same yeah. direction. So right now it's on the ground. We're about to put that on here, get it all situated. And because we're thinking about doing that sprocket, it kind of doesn't matter where that thing is really. I mean, it's going to be short chains I think anyway. To, I think first we're going to take off the header. Yeah, because um, for the exhaust, um, basically the way these sports bikes are, their headers come out farther for appearance, I guess. But they make a turbo header that is actually a lot shorter. So and we're going to... Yeah, it's only like $80, $80 for a name brand turbo header for this. So we're going to put that on. We're not going to turbo it yet. Yeah. Yeah, you know we, we turbo everything right here, guys. We, we we boost everything. Get get real. Get with the times. Don't do we have one boosted vehicle that's running right now? No, that's not the point. That Duramax. 
Okay, a diesel that comes with a turbo. <laughs> All right, but yeah, so we're gonna run the turbo header. That way it goes there. We're just doing a flange, uh, turbo flange with a V-band coming off, and then doing that like Mario Kart style, style like up pipe. The Ricer Brat Boys. So we're gonna be cool, guys. Really cool. This is definitely a long video, but it's definitely shown you a lot. It's definitely worth a watch. You guys better watch it all the way through. All right? And hit that subscribe because we still have a lot more stuff to go over with in this go-kart. And the we're... more subscribers we get, the more freaking awesome giveaways we can start doing again. So. Yeah, so that way we can get back to our giveaways, blah, blah, blah. We did a couple of them. They were small ones, but they are still pretty cool. We but... still want to do a side topic. We still want to do the LS giveaway, but we really want to, want to get more subscribers and followers before we really give something that big away and to free up time of course to do it but yeah tell your friends about us do they want to you know subscribe watch our videos uh, maybe hopefully because <laughs> the bigger we get the bigger giveaways that we can get for you guys because yeah. we really like giving back but we're about to put this motor here get that right there and start sizing her up bud so let's get at yeah. it all right so as you can see motors right here we put the axle in just to get the ideas and everything. Tony got kind of upset. I think I just came up with another idea. Oh boy, this is scary. <laughs> but basically what we're talking about, this hub, this hub, it's way too close. And we really don't feel like having like a 30 inch extension on the frame to have a good thing. Cause this thing is pretty long already. You know, you can see the front up there. Like, it's right, we measured it before we put this in, and it's about 76 inches long in total, which is going to give us about a 60-ish inch wheelbase. So, what we're talking about with a hub axle is basically there's going to be another axle right here with a sprocket that goes flat right here, then a spacer with another bearing, and a chain that goes down here. And with the mechanics of everything, it should still pull everything in the same direction. So there won't be any weird front reverse mix ups at all. This over here with the brake, we we're running into issues because we were like, ah, it might be able to fit right here. But what makes more sense is just cutting this bar out, adding reinforcements where the brake won't be and just putting the brake right here which makes more sense in my mind unless tony's magical idea <laughs> so there's definitely things that we need to do i mean i already wanted to put a bar from here to here and then we'll probably just run the motor mount up here already and then this front one it's just right here so We'll have to run a bar over there and on the other side just to mount this motor. So pretty simple stuff and I'm not going to say simple, but straightforward, like common sense makes sense stuff. So we're going to do that. It still has room for the exhaust and everything. And you might say, well, why don't you just move it up and try no, to make actually, everything fit? So I actually was just looking, um, and especially if we put in a uh, oil cooler with maybe even some sort of another, can we do a secondary pump in an oil, oil cooler? Oil pump? Yeah, in, in line. You can? Yeah. Okay, so with that, we might be able to sit this at more of a straight, straighter angle, and that'll gain us room to scoot this up. Yeah. Are we gonna run more oil in it though too? With an oil cooler, we'll probably have to do a quart extra. It depends on how long large the oil cooler is and how long the lines are. We might have to run a two extra quarts or something yeah. like that. So we're yeah, definitely that might out with some with these tight issues. Yeah. So we're definitely just still brainstorming real quick, but we'll get back to you in a second when we start to work. All right, so as you can tell, Tony's kind of done for the night and we ran into some issues, mainly 
we don't have the exhaust manifold, so we don't want to bolt anything up because of spacing. Tony's idea was just to rotate it a little bit, run an oil cooler and an inline oil pump just to maintain oil pressure, get it a little bit above oil pressure, and run a couple extra cords just to make sure it was good. But we need the exhaust manifold to see if his idea will work. We need the exhaust manifold to see if my idea will work. So we're waiting until we have one of those, which makes Tony sad. He's sad. We got an idea. Maybe, but we'll see. We'll see, bud. So thanks for watching the video, guys. If not, you kind of learned how to extend the frame on a go-kart to make it a long boy. And other than that, it's really it. So hope you like the video. And how to put a kirky in there. Yeah, how to put a kirky in a go-kart. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching the video. Like what you see. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tell if your friends about us, you know, because we're cool. Hit that thumbs up button. And what else, man? What else? Stay tuned for more. Stay tuned for more because we definitely have more coming soon for this. Because... We're really enjoying the simplicity and oh, how yeah. fast this is coming together. Literally, ugh, I don't want to talk more, but I want to talk more. We literally bought this on a Saturday, the frame on a Saturday, bought the motor on a Sunday. We're cutting it up yesterday on a Monday, and then today on a Tuesday, we're able to get this far. So this project is definitely moving along quickly, which is what we wanted. So make sure you stay tuned for more updates and hey, subscribe. Yeah, we'll make a cut for it soon, guys. Alibaba. <laughs>